how to do hammer curls. The main thing you want to take away from this exercise, let me set these down for a second. The main thing you want to take away from this exercise is not to bring your elbows up too much. A lot of people do this exercise great up until the very end. What they'll do is they will start from the bottom. And we're here. And be here. Yeah. <laughs> so start from the bottom and come here. And then what they will do to think that they get a longer range of motion is bring their elbows up. Now they're doing this probably unintentionally. And I want you to check yourself out in the mirror if you have one, uh, if you have one to your sides which is ideal. If not, just turn your body. But what they'll end up doing is basically bringing their elbows up and now they're involving their shoulders. And we don't want to turn a bicep workout into a shoulder routine. So I'm going to show you how to do it correctly and then I'm going to show you how to do it incorrectly. Alright, so the correct way of doing this exercise is just to bring it up here. You can see that I cannot go any more forward than that. If I do, I have to bring my elbow up. That's not going to increase my range of motion. All that's going to do is just get my shoulder involved. So I'm gonna do a few reps so you guys see a good example. Now hammer curls are going to work the outside of the bicep and the outside of the forearm. So it's going to give you that illusion, like you have a bigger arm than you actually do. It's going to give you that nice peak, peak look. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the front, so you get this, so you get an idea of what to do if you're looking at a mirror straight ahead. What to do and what not to do. This is the correct way. Now, the incorrect way with bringing my elbows up. Again, you might feel more of a squeeze here, but you will eventually start working your shoulders. And again, we want to take our shoulders completely out of this movement. If you are still feeling your shoulders while you're doing it standing, go ahead and do these seated. And that will be less of a full body movement and also less swinging. That's it for the hammer curl, guys. Remember to know a muscle you're working in order to have an optimal workout. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at yourpersonalcoach24 at gmail.com.